And when none of these seem to work, you can depend on Aurum Arsenicum. Now, you'll be wondering, where from did I get, dig out this Aurum Arsenicum, which is not at all a common remedy? Actually, uh, there's hardly any mention of it in uh, any other books. There's nothing in uh, Kent's uh, Materia Medica. Clark Dictionary, which is normally very elaborate and descriptive, and uh, it would run a few pages of any remedy, uh, devotes just one paragraph of this size for the RMRs. It is mentioned in the Clark. Uh, it's only this size paragraph uh, about RMRs. But uh, what I would like to say is uh, I stumbled upon this in uh, the course of uh, looking for blood pressure as well as stroke heart remedies. And uh, I stumbled upon this, and I found it very interesting, and worked on it for almost half my lifetime. Uh, 25, 30 years I worked on that. And uh, I feel it has got a great application. And mind you, the Aurum has got uh, all the, with the, the greatest affinity to the heart. And arsenicum has got the greatest affinity to whole circulatory system and the nervous system as a whole. So when they, those two combine, it becomes a really a formidable remedy. <coughs> um, I should say all these uh, indications are developed by me uh, over the years, as I said. There is a lot of self-reproach, self-criticism, irritable, depressed, turbulent, obstinate, and irascible, affections disturbed with weak heart, not hurt, heart, I'm sorry, can't stand least contradiction, desires open air, but cold drafts cause pain, rheumatic affections, and swelling of joints, Strange vascularity all over, edema with vascular fullness, violent flushes of heat, pain in the back of head, occipital headache, pain in all over the body, purple face like lachesis, uh, retrosternal pain, strawberry nose, hard enlarged liver, effort syndrome. That is. They are perfectly all right, but the minute they exert, they become dyspneic and either they get pain or become breathless. I've generally employed auto mass in 200 potency. In acute conditions such as a coronary thrombosis, I dissolve two globules of RMRs 200 in a cup of water and give it in small sips every 10 minutes or five minutes or two minutes, 10 times, then watch the progress of the case. Generally, the patient feels better, the color is regained, excessive perspiration stops, breathing more rhythmic, and the pulse regains better volume and tension. So, <clears throat> apart from arsenicum album, even RMRs has been very, very useful in dealing with acute MI, a myocardial infarction. <coughs> Watch the patient for a few hours, and if he is getting uncomfortable, repeat another 10 doses at 10 minutes interval. With this, he is decidedly better. The lung signs are, if any, also clear up. Then I wait for six hours and give one dose of sulfur. The next day, the patient will look at a picture of health and all the investigatory prep parameters, and in this case, the ECG also shows remarkable improvement. 